A pandemic buying spree lifted boating stocks to record highs in 2021, but it's been choppy water since as companies try to navigate economic and supply chain headwinds. Brunswick is aiming to sail against that current. The company is a notable player within its industry group and has been steadily increasing profitability over the last six plus years. And they're looking to keep that wave of revenue coming with new product innovations. We have very strong product with really great levels of innovation and technology. That's Brunswick CEO David Folks. He says an uncertain economic climate has created a bifurcated boating market. Our premium products like the Sea Ray and Boston Whaler and some of our uh, large Mercury engines are very solid, uh, a lot of resilience in that consumer base. Though the premium boating market has remained buoyant, folks see softened demand in value-priced products. The consumers are more impacted by uh, interest rates because they're typically financing the product uh, a little bit more impacted by the cumulative effect of inflation. So we're having to work a bit harder in that part of the market. Despite these economic headwinds, Brunswick has continued to report earnings growth, even as the pandemic boat buying boom has waned. Folks says that performance is due to the company's diversified marine business and investments in new technologies and innovations. We have a lot of investments in parts and accessories, which tend to be less cyclical than uh, other parts of the marine market. Another segment that has bolstered Brunswick's bottom line is the Freedom Boat Club. The membership-based business, which was acquired in 2019, is a key component of the company's strategy to recruit more recreational boating customers and has grown into a significant source of recurring revenue. We're expanding uh, internationally in that model, which continues to have a lot of uh, benefits for consumers, not so influenced by uh, interest rates and inflation as some other parts of the market. So that's really doing very well too. Brunswick has more than doubled the membership roles since the club's purchase and plans to open its 400th location this fiscal year, with roughly 40 locations in Europe alone. And that is a real unique advantage of the scale and the geographic breadth that we have in the club versus anything else in the marketplace at the moment. The boating industry is also following in the path of car makers in developing electric powered products. That market is projected to hit $15 billion by the end of the decade, and some legacy automakers like General Motors have even made investments in the space. Volk says electrification will be the next big strategic focus for Brunswick in the coming years. We do see increasing interest in electric power, particularly in smaller vessels. And we are seeing that particularly in Europe, where there are a number of uh, regulated lakes that don't allow internal combustion engines. So this is an exciting new product line for us. Brunswick launched its first all-electric boat and line of propulsion engines earlier this year. The company plans to unveil four more electric boats by the end of 2023. It is a relatively modest part of our business right now, but I think uh, set to grow and become more material. And Brunswick plans to ride that wave of growth beyond the summer boating season. We've built a very diversified business model that is intended to perform through economic cycles. But as we go through that, we are still working on all of the strategic things that are going to carry us forward. Electrification, uh, more autonomous vessels, more connected products, and expansion of those alternative ways to go boating uh, like Freedom Boat Club. So, I think those secular levels plus the longer term strategic elements all continue to be really important to us.